And please take a deep breath in. And please breathe out. And imagine yourself forming a radiant circle with all the other participants who are here today. And you feel the strength and you feel the power of this radiant circle. You tune into its vibration. And maybe you'd wish also to offer a moment here in gratitude and love towards all the others who form the beauty of this circle. Because most probably there are members of your soul family. Most probably you have met them before. And most probably you're very much meant to share this space with all of them here and now. And I am inviting the presence of the Blue Avians in this transmission. Greetings to each and every of you. We are here today with you to bring our blessings, to bring our messages from above, to be sure that you receive all the necessary support at this time. We are here mostly to remind you of the beauty of life, to remind you that what you're looking for is there within you, that you have all the power to create that which you truly wish to create. We are here just to whisper to you that whatever you bring into your heart, uh, whatever intention you give to your actions, uh, that intention will form your reality. And this is how we decided to join you today to invite you all to look into the golden future because this is not only a timeline, it's the reality that you truly wish to experience. And because there are so many of you at this time who brought your energies together to create this reality, you have already started to crystallize it. It's already there. You already have the opportunity to tune into it and to have the full experience of it. Though it is also significant at this time to be aware that as you intend to move into the fifth dimension, you will experience quite some changes. And those changes are meant to be experienced. Those changes are a blessing that come now into your life. And it's upon you if you accept the blessing and you open your heart to it, or if you do not recognize it as a blessing and you close your heart towards it. And we refer to changes mostly to point out to your increased level of sensitivity, to your ability to perceive in a more subtle way that you were able to do so before. We are pointing now to your gifts that open up once again to uh, your ability to be a true empath so you can recognize the oneness in all that is. Uh, it's highly significant at this time to realize that all the changes that come are meant to be. That even if you perceive yourself to be much more sensitive, uh, even if at times you feel very much overwhelmed, uh, that is actually a gift that needs to be integrated. 
and it means that this is the time to take a break this is the time to be more with yourself uh, to observe more what happens within you uh, this is the great time to sit in meditation uh, and to allow all those energies to find their place so they can come in harmony so they can settle within you in harmony it's not the time to reject them uh, it, it's not the time to push anything away simply to be in acceptance be in that state of love uh, be ready and open uh, because uh, the change that you experience uh, is the change that carries you into the fifth dimension is the change that carries you into the golden future and if you feel that you have already tuned with the vibration of the fifth dimension if you feel that it already becomes easier and easier for you if you're feeling now that you're a pillar of light on earth it means that you're also the one who provides support for many other beings who might need that support at this time you might be the one who shares the cosmic messages you might be the one who opens your heart to simply listen without trying to give solutions or to fix anything or anyone but to simply be and to hold the space for another you might be the one who comes with new ideas and shares those ideas with many others for many to receive the benefit of them you might be the one who stays strong into your own energy into your own power remaining present remaining at peace in the midst of chaos and if you find yourself in this role do not give up do not tell yourself that your game is over uh, do not um, go away but remain into your world continuing to be that pillar of light that you are as you transit now into the golden future, you're going to have the realization that this reality is not actually a new reality. You're going to start remembering that there were times in which you have lived such a life on earth. And because of those memories, you'll be the ones who would be able to easily bring back the those teachings you'll be the ones to be able to pave the new ways you will be the ones who will embrace the change because for you that is familiar the golden future refers to that reality in which you truly wish to rediscover once again that you're all one and as you hold into this intention, as you truly embrace it and you tell yourself, I am ready to see the oneness in all that is. I am ready to see the oneness in all that is. This intention is the one that positions you on the timeline of the golden future. And as you say it, don't just say it, but also feel it. Tune into its vibration. Because it's not only an intention, but it's an intentional key. And it's meant to open the doors towards a new perception. It's meant to open the doors towards a new reality. And as you consider yourself to be ready, and you truly wish to see that unity in all that is then observe as well 
any kind of program, any kind of belief, any kind of concept, idea, which do not serve you anymore. All those beliefs that are not anymore aligned with your true wish. For example, whenever you observe your mind judging something, let go of that judgment by reminding yourself that there is unity in all that is. There is no need to believe in those thoughts, but rather to be able to let them go and to invite that universal flow of energy to carry them away. And then as you observe once again, any thought form, any idea, any concept, anything that doesn't resonate with your highest wish. Simply observe that with detachment and let it go. Tell yourself, I am, tell yourself now, I do not wish anymore to create my reality upon this. Now I am ready to experience that golden life, that golden future. Now I am ready to leave behind all that which doesn't serve me anymore. And we are inviting you now to contemplate the changes that will come, to become aware of them, because as you're becoming aware of them and you're sharing them with many others, they become familiar with you and you're going to see that you will not have a tendency anymore to oppose any resistance, to create any resistance. And those changes refer mostly to the connection between mind and matter. You're going to start observing that your thoughts become objects and when we say so, we actually say that what you're thinking truly creates your reality. And you will start observing that more and more. You're going to see that what comes into your mind, you're going to see that as a projection. And that is going to happen faster and faster. And this is one of those first and major changes that come now into your life. Secondly, as you're going to notice that your mind is very powerful, you're going to notice that your mind is a tool for creation. And then you will want to be able to control your mind. So you will start directing your mind more and more. And many of you already started to do so. You start to think through intentions. You started to bring intentions before all of your actions. Many of you have already tuned into the significance of having such intentions. And though this will happen more and more, and in the following months, you're going to observe that your true wish is to really think positively. Because whatever you will be thinking, you're going to see it being projected in your reality. And this is how humanity will shift from uh, thinking based on separation to thinking in a real positive way in such a way in which you can actually enjoy life on earth and then there are other changes and one one very significant such change is that you're becoming empaths you're becoming very sensitive to what others think and feel and this is very much meant to happen so you can observe that the other is also you and as you notice this and as entire humanity notices this there will be no intention to harm another and this is how the wars on your planet will stop 
this is how many even minor conflicts are going to withdraw it's because you will be becoming so sensitive that you're going to observe how you're transmitting information from one to another and then you're going to truly wish to take care of all human beings and all human beings will truly wish to share love and to share such positive uh, interactions so they can uh, so you can all up uplift yourself and then there is a lot of awareness that is meant to come at this time and that awareness comes from the fact that you're becoming more present you start carrying more of your own planet and we know that as we say so we are not referring to you exactly who are here today but we know that humanity as a whole for a very long time was not perfectly connected with the planet and taking care of it. Therefore, as you're entering the golden era, this changes rapidly. Many and many of you become very aware of the needs of the planet. You will start feeling like consuming less. You start feeling that what you consume uh, needs to be evaluated so it cannot harm the planet in any way. We're also going to observe how more and more people will start feeling more connected with the nature and start spending more time in nature. And this is because there are many changes that will come in relation to your technologies. Uh, these changes assume that for a certain period of time you will not be able to access different technologies which will push you closer into connecting with nature. Uh, people become uh, more um, independent in the way of needing less from outside and discovering more of their uh, true inner happiness. Once again, it happens rapidly and this will bring many changes in your world. You're going to notice that uh, human beings will start consuming um, less material things. They will start consuming less food uh, they will rely less on uh, certain um, objects or activities to create joy, but rather they will learn how to truly uh, tune from within into their inner joy. Another great change that comes on your planet is that uh, many people will leave aside the consumption of um, different substances like alcohol or tobacco and you're going to see that this happens naturally as one starts discovering his own joyfulness. People will shortly be become um, more able to tune into subtle energies, uh, to be more telepathic to be able to uh, reactivate, reuse skills like remote viewing uh, and other such skills which uh, some time ago were considered to have been very natural. Uh, once the vibration of the planet rises, the entire energy grid of the planet is being reconnected which means that all the ley lines are being reactivated the waters of your planet regain their natural energy they regain their healing quality as well and you're going to observe how um, human beings will rely less and less on um, uh, chemical medication 
and I will use uh, more uh, the natural remedies that come from the earth, including the different uh, qualities of the water. Uh, we know that you who listen to this transmission now, you already tune into this reality. We know that you are already so much aware of all this. And that's why we are inviting you to bring this news further. And as you have the courage to talk about this, and you have, and as you have the courage to share your vision with many other people, you uplift their vibration, you bring a new vision to them, you bring beauty into their life. And mostly, you help them to position themselves on this specific timeline. As the change comes, you're going to observe that it will become impossible to think negatively in any way. It will become impossible to create any kind of conflict. Whatever is aligned with the idea of being separated with, will fall apart. It's useful for you at this time to prepare yourself to embrace the golden future, to be ready for it, knowing that all the changes that come are meant to carry you further into a higher vibration. There are some of you at this time who are tuning into the sixth dimension. And those of you are the ones who started to see in different realities, you started to discover and remember uh, that there are multiple realities and maybe some of you are even interested in bringing information from one reality into another. If this is your case, then follow that guidance, open up to it, make all the necessary changes to tune into that high vibration. Because as you do so, you open those gateways, you support the vibration of the planet and you support so many others who wish to make such a change. The difference between someone who tunes now into the sixth dimension and those who tune into the fifth one is that the ones who uh, already started to tune into the sixth dimensional vibration, they uh, started to remember how it was once to live on earth um, in, in such a high vibration. Uh, your memories might come back you might feel uh, very connected with the ancient teachings. You might remember lives in which you were a priest or a priestess. Uh, there might be glimpses into other realities that your mind called past realities. Though those realities are still very much alive. They are very much alive. They exist here and now. And as you continue to look there, as you continue to open up, as you spend your time in meditation, in silence, in contemplation, you're going to find out more and more. And we encourage you to do so, because once again, you are the pillars of light on your planet, and you're providing the support for all the others who might need such a support. And as you're tuning into the golden future, you're bringing that vibration on the entire planet. And please remember, it is enough for just a few people to tune into such high vibrations and to really intend out of their kindness and compassion of their hearts to bring that vibration further for that to happen. It's not necessary for many of you to do it. 
it's not necessary for the majority to do it. It's simply enough for some of you who carry that vibration in a very pure way to have the intention to share it. And then it simply starts to happen. Have trust in yourself. Have trust in your own qualities. See yourselves as the prime creators. Because this is a role that you have taken, that you can truly honor. And then, by using the codes of the prime creator, you're going to observe how the force behind them pushes you forward into creating, paving a new reality and then leading with compassion and love in such a way that so many others will receive such a great benefit. And we are inviting all of you, and we know that you're very curious, we are inviting all of you to tune into the vibration of your heart because that's your true home and your true home is always within you. And as you do so and as you remain centered there, we are bringing codes which are aligned with the reality of the golden future enahaka aya nikia anakia amma niya na niya na niya na wo niya na niya na niya na aka oma niya na niya 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 oka ya naka ya na hara o ya na kina ya And once again, we are inviting you to connect with your breath. And as you breathe in, we are inviting you to pull that energy up because you're also remembering that you carry within you a full reservoir of energy. And that reservoir of energy is at the base of your spine. And many times, many of your teachings have talked about that energy as being your Kundalini energy. And you're awakening now that serpent and you're meant to do so. And whenever you focus on it, whenever you're rediscovering it, whenever you're aware of it and through your own intention and your own attention, you bring that energy up you start opening yourself to a new reality. And that's because until now, you function very much based on the root chakra. And that was a, the three-dimensional reality in which you experienced a lot of fear. It was a reality in which you have felt uh, not so much stability you might have felt anxious at times. There was a lot of desire. That was the three-dimensional reality based on the existence and energy in your root chakra. But now as you open up and as you open the other energy centers, then what happened is that you grow that light upwards and now you're even connecting your energy centers into one. 
by reactivating your light body. Therefore, we are here with you today to remind you to continue to do so, to have trust in your own experience, to have trust in your own energy, to have trust in the guidance that you receive, because you are meant to uplift yourself so you can shine further the light within you. And we are inviting you all now, once again, to tune with your breath. And as you find your home into your heart, and you connect with that vibration of your home, of your true home, We are inviting you to envision that golden future. And you allow here, you have trust in your own intuition. And it's not only about seeing it, but it's mostly about feeling it. Feel how you can live by being settled, centered in that pure and conditional love. Feel what it means to have trust, not in a blind way, but just having trust because you know that you are the one creating your own reality. Feel how it is to say it, how it is to affirm it, and then to experience it. And then move more and more into that. Feel how you're directing your reality as you wish to. And tell yourself what I truly wish to experience is real love and beauty on earth. And I'm ready to do so right now. Feel how all the beings on earth come together once again. Because as they become sensitive, as they become empathic once again, they realize what suffering means. They realize what another feels. They realize the oneness which is, all, which is in all that is. And as they do so, they start bringing their intentions together creating a reality that they truly wish to experience. And then see yourself as that pillar of light that you are, holding the light for the new fifth dimensional reality. See your gifts opening up Imagine yourself being able to do things that you have forgotten that you could do. Imagine yourself being able to communicate at the deepest level with another without using any form of technology. See yourself and, the, and all human beings protecting the planet and connecting with it. And mostly see yourself as a unity, having the same intentions. And one such main intention is I am here to love and protect my planet to take care of it, to nurture it, as it nurtures me. And then another such intention is I am here to evolve. And as I am evolving, the planet evolves with me. And as the planet evolves, I am evol evolving with it. And these are the main two intentions that beings on other planets, mostly in the fifth dimensional planets, 
These are the main intentions that such beings share. And you're bringing now to the collective And then imagine how it is not to feel separated, but to know that whatever you wish to do and whatever others wish to do is for the benefit of all, because it is always much more significant when it is done for the best of everyone than when it is focused only on one single, only on one person. And then imagine your planet shining in light. Imagine all the nature, all the waters of the planet being healthy and well and spreading on the entire planet once again. Imagine human beings living in harmony with the, na with the nature and with the animals. And bring those visions closer and closer to your heart. knowing that that timeline already exists and you're just tuning into it so you can have a full experience of it and then take a moment here to invite your intuition to show you anything else that you wish to bring on that timeline Bring it into your intention, bring it into your imagination. And know that as you imagine it, it becomes real. And then we are inviting you whenever you're ready to take this journey back, to come back once again through your home, through your heart. And we share our gratitude with all of you who are here today to open your own heart to receive our vision we thank you for uh, sharing this vision and for sharing our messages with many others and mostly for being those pillars of light on your planet So let's take a deep breath in let's breathe out and gently come back and we feel the contact with the ground and we gently open our eyes And thank you very much for for listening to the transmission and i'm i'm reading here that doreen says i want to bring the massive trees back 
there is someone else in the in the group elisa who has the same intention of of taking care of the of the giant trees so maybe you wish to connect with her because i think she received some some nice guidance there and then you can manifest it together so do you have any questions is there anything that i should ask or is there anything that you want to ask and I, I ask the question and I channel? Or is it everything clear? It was quite a long transmission. <laughs> Yeah, then I, I hope it's all, I hope it's, it serves you in the best way possible and it serves everyone else. And once again, thank you for, for being here and for listening to them. And I hope to, to see you soon again. Thank you very much and I wish you a very, very nice evening. And see you soon again. Bye.